The Division is an upcoming AAA game that has left some with a bad taste in their mouths, and others left giddy for the release date. There was, for a short time, closed beta available to give future players a sneak peek at some of the content in The Division. During this beta, the level was capped at 8, but I believe in the full game it will be 60 or above, and the Dark Zone level is capped at 12. Now, before you fast forward, I will be explaining the Dark Zone in a minute. I'm fucking lying, it's at the end of the video. Tom Clancy's The Division was originally not a Tom Clancy game, but Ubisoft funded it, and they have a really large subsidiary called uh, Tom Clancy. Uh, I recently found this out, it's not on my script, so I'm like free basing it right now, dude. The Division, unlike many other games with guns, has RPG elements involved with the damage and other stats. The three stats you can increase with clothing are Firearms, Stamina, and Electronics. Firearms is self-explanatory. The more firearm points you have, the more DPS your gun will do in body shots. This game does its main calculations in DPS instead of base damage per bullet, but instead takes into consideration the RPM and damage, even the magazine size and reload speed. This can lead to some misconceptions when assessing which gun you want to use, so make sure you fully read into your gun before you go out and spend close to 3k DZ funds. Stamina is basically the health in the game. The more stamina you have, the more health you get. Included with your base health, of course. I average that one stamina gives 25 to 30 health, but I did not get much time to study the HP per stamina because the beta was only available for 3 to 4 days. But we'll soon return on March 8th with the full version hopefully with no bars holding back the experience. The final stat was Electronics, which determined whether you can obtain a passive effect, in this game called Attributes, on a weapon you have gotten, such as the Talent Expert, which, if I did not have Electronics or Skill Power, I would not get the effects of the passive. I do also believe it has something to do with the effectiveness of your active skill, but I did not notice a change. Once you've got your stats how you like it, you need to worry about the guns you get. So far in the beta, I have noticed a large variety in weapons, I believe 33 different weapons in total, with a set of new weapons at every level, at least during the beta that is. And of these 33 weapons available, there are 6 groups of weapons, all classified differently in game, and based on the type of gun can only take certain weapon mods. These groups are pistols, shotguns, submachine guns, assault rifles, marksman rifles, and the game winners. There are different rarities to a gun, or conditions as people might call them, starting at junk, then moving to standard, specialized, superior, and then high end. There's also a rarity that does not apply to weapons but instead clothing called appearance and gives no stats but instead changes how your character looks. These are usually given to you by civilians outside of the dark zone. On to the weapon rarities. Junk is literal shit, just sell it. Actually, it's not even worth picking up, don't fucking bother. Standard is sometimes acceptable, best to avoid it, it's a good source of money though. Specialized is alright on some clothing, and on your pistol maybe. This is where you start to get attributes on your guns that you can activate by having the required stats. Superior is getting near the top of the food chain where you start to have 2 to 3 attributes and very high DPS. These are the guns you should aim for. High end is the SHIT. The most DPS can be found in high end weapons. In the beta, they can only be bought in the safe house, but this may change. Now that you know all about the guns, the best place to get the guns is in the Dark Zone. Yes, I'm finally going to cover it. The Dark Zone is a mainly PvP area in which you are left in a good guy bad guy situation. You could either help others out when they're in hot shit, or just kill them and steal their stuff. There's also a PvE element for getting the loot to extract at helipads, but if you don't want to do that, then you can do what's called going rogue, and where you kill other players to steal their stuff. Named so because once you've killed someone, you'll be notified with, you have disavowed the division, you will now be marked as rogue. And then depending on your level, I believe, you'll be shown for up to 100 meters away through wall with a skull and crossbones on your name. There are many stances on how people feel about going rogue, so it's best not to say anything until you've tried it all. In the Dark Zone, you are allowed a maximum of four members per party, but this can be expanded by just having people follow you around out of the party. This can sometimes be popular, but is not recommended with people you don't know. In the Dark Zone, I found it amazing how many friends you can make by just not being a total fucking dick. Oh, I like it. Ooh, you got the same hat too? Fuck yeah. 
These hats are baller. I'll stick to my baby. Actually, I haven't gone through my wardrobe in a while. Ooh, I like that. Many people say the Dark Zone is littered with hackers and cheaters, but all I've found is douchebags farming out an exploit that will only be around in the beta, as the method they're using requires a beta wall that tells them this area is off limits for beta, and after 10 seconds it will be teleported to a safe zone, no matter their rogue status. If there have been hackers and cheaters in the division, I've never met them, and I'm glad I haven't. Now that the division beta is over, many people are left sad and hungry for a bigger taste of the division. With up to 20,000 comments on the beta announcement on the official Division website, and mostly positive responses to the overall beta experience, with hardly any actual complaints beside people saying, wish it didn't update at night. However, there are still snarky fedora-wielding betas that will act really edgy in order to get their e peen hard. So you know, nothing's perfect, but I would gladly say the Division came close to perfect in my experience. And I, too, am looking forward to the full release of the game. Also, the moderator's a fucking G.